Hey everybody. Can't see my face. That's okay. I want to show you this joystick stuff. So, um, so really quick, I just want to demonstrate something. Um, it's been a while since I've done any kind of update, but I've got some cool new feature. A cool new feature I want to show off. Um, so just to be quick, um, I've done a lot of Orb Weaver analog joystick mods for people. And um, I've had enough of them either send me back their, their mod or I've instructed them on how to manually update the code on their Teensy to fix this issue. The issue being that after they've used their mod, they've used their joystick for a time, weeks to months, um, these little potentiometers on this, on this joystick, the, the, the tolerances for the rest point or the zero point where you're not moving it get loose. And so the way that that manifests is that um, you'll be in-game, you know, let's say you're playing Call of Duty or something on your uh, Xbox or your Zim. Um, you'll see your character slowly move forward or backwards, or, and you'll, you'll see him move or look around depending on how the joystick is bound um, when you're not touching the joystick. And that's not okay. So to, to solve that, I've implemented this uh, calibration feature that's built in, and just to show you that, see this is plugged into my machine right here, so let me bring this window up so you can see what I'm looking at. And you just saw my email. I don't think there's anything in there sensitive anyway. So you can see it, like this is sending, this is sending input, right? Okay, perfect, you see that. So, let's say I've, I've, done, I've, I've done a mod for you, and you get your orb, and you've been using it for a little while, and you notice this problem. Well, instead of sending it back to me so I could update the code, or switch out the joystick, or doing that yourself, um, I've got this cool feature where if you push and hold in the button, for a period of time, I think I've got it set for five seconds. You see the light come on, the LED, uh, the, the LED. And what, what's happening now is you're now in calibration mode. And once per second, it is persisting. There's a little um, uh, bit of persistent memory on this Teensy called the EEPROM. Um, and I am persisting the resting, or actually whatever it's at, I'm persisting the X and Y values. And so, to exit this, you just unplug it and then replug it in. And so what's happened is when this thing gets replugged in, it defaults to non-calibration mode. See, lights off. Um, and so what it does when this thing boots up, which happens really quick when you first plug it in, it, it, it boots up, it reads those um, that value from the onboard memory and it compares that against what it knows the um, the default resting value to be, which is, and we're, we're, we're speaking in, in analog terms, it's 512 and 512 for X and Y. So it does some math and decides, oh, hey, the resting values are uh, are higher and or, or lower than the default values, so let's pad and adjust the input. So all of a sudden, now this thing is calibrated. It will not send input um, if it's getting or reading uh, X and Y axis values that are within that, that calibrated uh, boundary. Um, and so this way, as you use this thing and these, and these potentiometers get looser and looser, you can get you know, a lot more time out of it before you say, hey, Tough Rabbit, I need you to replace this joystick, or hopefully that, that never, ever happens at this point now. Um, and you don't have this ability on Xbox controllers, you know. Um, what they do for you for Xbox games and Xbox controllers is they just have a gigantic dead zone um, on, on, the, on the controller input buffer that just doesn't receive input if it's below a certain boundary, which works technically, but as your controller ages and that, and eventually years, you probably reach that point where, hey, my controller's sending input. That happened to me. I had a cheap GameStop 360 controller that after six months just started sending input because the joystick had gone bad and it had it was sending 
inputs beyond those de those default boundaries. Well, with with my solution, you just go into calibration mode, um, wait three seconds or four seconds um, with without touching the joystick, with it being centered, and you'll be good. You're set. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys. It's been a while. Hope that makes sense. Um, uh, I will post. I've got this this sketch in my GitHub, and I'll include that. So uh, if you want to see the code, you can. Free for everybody. Hooray. Catch you later.